Hey guys, welcome back to UI Builder video series. And the last one we saw that that uh, how we can have how we can utilize SNS CTP service instead of calling our data brokers. And now in this one, what we're gonna see is that on this uh, knowledge article page, we have uh, we have most of the things covered. But now we need to have something known as comments. So we want to show the comments as well as uh, post comment functionality. So in this video, we're going to see that how we can play around with that one. So to do that, what I need to do is I need to add a container. So let me add a container here. So add the container after your container do. Yeah. So I'm going to add container, another container. And inside this container, I am going to add a, a what I say, I'm going to add, so let's first change its uh, property again. So if uh, we go and check the uh, main uh, section of this container, again, it says column. So let's change it through and save it. And here, why it's always happened to me, why it's not, why it's not work with me again okay. i don't know why it is having issues with me so let's do one thing no 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 you have an alternative there mm -hmm. so uh where you have this uh main right yeah just click on there add component yep so here what i need to do is i need to search for comments and i have mm -hmm. something known as nested comments so you see that we got the comments now but it's still it's not hooked up so for that i'll first save it and, uh, uh, and and uh, uh, it's my bad, Akash, but I guess uh, we need to change it back to the column mm -hmm. uh, from the row, and that's the reason it's happening like that. But can you change it back to uh, column because we want to utilize the entire space? Yeah, yep. I did that. So now what we're gonna do is that uh, we're gonna go into data resource and we're gonna create uh, one uh, data broker again. And we'll, we will utilize this create record or not. We can delete this one. I don't see any uh, delete method here. Delete button. No, there is there is a delete on the top. You see that? Uh, uh, yes. Yeah, that's the delete. one you want to use. Yeah. So let's add one. So let's search for knowledge. And in this uh, search for knowledge, so there is something known as retrieve knowledge comments. We're gonna add this one. Execution failed, wow. So uh, don't worry, sometimes it's happened because it, it still does not have any of the article ID. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna hook up our article ID. So I'm gonna put context.prop.sysid. Now that mm -hmm. error is gone. And uh, it is showing us the empty array because right now this uh, article does not have any kind of uh, comments associated with it. So Correct. Uh, what we can do is that, uh, uh, okay, let's save it. So our JSON is empty. Now let's hook it up if we need to hook it up. So. What I'm going to do is that I am going to come on to this nested components and here, where is our, uh, in the comments, in the comments, comments first section. one. And this one, I need to select this at data and it will populate this retrieve knowledge one. Let me see if it is in the last knowledge comments. Yes. Sorry. In the action, it should not be anything. Save it. So that's how we, what we have done is we have created a new data broker to retrieve our knowledge comments. And uh, what we have done is that in this comments one, we have hooked it up. Uh, it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. And in the next one, we're going to see that uh, how we can post a comment and we will do with, we will play with this action one. But right now for this uh, knowledge article, we will just retrieve the comments. To see that in action, what we can do is that we can go back to our one, more, one more thing uh, you might want to add here is the actions. So basically, uh, you so when you open any comment, existing comment, what you want to do, right? You can delete it as well. Mm -hmm. So that you can add it in the actions. Uh, you have to copy. I mean, you have to 
you need that uh, JSON on a certain format. And uh, if you copy that, paste it. This is the JSON. Yeah. Yeah, so basically it is saying like what would be the icon and stuff like that. And then you just say apply and save it. It's basically for deleting uh, our command and save it. And if I refresh it, so I'll not be seeing any of the comments because this article still does not have any comment. Let's and, and in order to see the comment also, we need to do one more thing, which we will do in the next video. Yeah. And in the next one, we will also add uh, some comments on this article so that we can Correct. see that uh, if uh, those comments are coming or not. Yep. So that's it for this video, folks. In the next one, we're going to see the rest of the stuff that how we can uh, retrieve the comment and how we can save the comments. Thank you. Thank you.